This is where it all began. The night when they took everything from me. I rushed back into the burning house, but it was already too late. Everything was engulfed in flames. I made my way in, only to find Daisy lying motionless on the ground. I struggled to make sense of what happened. Why would anyone do this to Daisy? I carried the weight of Daisy in my arms and struggled out to the field, to safety. But that would be the last time I held her. Anguish and sorrow filled my heart. And then I saw them. Beneath the city haze walked three of them. They trotted towards the woods. They had taken something else from me. An artifact that my father had given me on the night he left for good. But why? I was confused and lost. But most of all, hatred clouded my mind. It wasn't long before everything went black. My life as I knew it ended then and there. But I live for something else now. They'll seek my revenge and those murderers shall live in hell. I'll have my revenge.
No matter where you hide.
I know I'm getting closer. To get to the bottom of Daisy's death, I went searching for the famed prophet Gladius. I found her inside the tavern, with her wares spread out on the round tabletop. She was old, older than I had imagined. Her eyes met mine, but before I could speak, she asked if I was the son of Dante. It seemed she had been waiting for me all this while. But I didn't seek her for all that, and patience was never a virtue of mine. I demanded her to look into the crystal ball of hers, to find me the men behind that murderous night. Instead, she mentioned that my destiny was hung over her neck and proceeded to remove her neck piece. It was akin to a compass, and it had glittered and blinked profusely in front of my eyes. The old lady explained that the compass and my destiny were woven together. She was about to elaborate, but she never got the chance. Someone had taken her life, someone familiar. The face that I had seen from that fateful night, a face I couldn't forget. I was glad he found me before I found him. It was obvious he didn't want Gladius talking to me. Something tells me I was on the right path. ever so slightly quenched by the sight of Reddo lying on the ground, his face covered in blood. In a plea for me to spare his life, he began offering me a name, Craven. I've heard that name before. Craven was an enigmatic and powerful warlord, feared by all. It was then I realized that Reddo was simply a pawn. Craven was the mastermind behind it all, the cause of Daisy's death. Through the corner of my eye, I saw Reddo standing up, ready to ambush me. But that wasn't gonna happen. As Rondel appeared in the nick of time, the cannon, taller than himself, took Reddo out. For saving my life, he asked that I seek out Craven with him. Rondel was a complete stranger up until that night. But I soon realized that both of us shared a similar predicament. Apparently, Rondel's son was bound to...
There's no stopping me. Across the territory of Rukhorn, heavily guarded by shooters. They were all hiding in the bunkers, and I was a sitting duck. Help me open, helpless against them. Casey McCoy was the reason we could move on. McCoy was a sniper that came out of nowhere. When the Rukhorn shooters took aim, McCoy's aim took theirs. We'd found ourselves a new ally.
I'm gonna get you. Gonna get you.
Casey McCoy strapped his rifle across his shoulders as he walked towards us. He said he was going to lead us to Craven, but he didn't say why. He only mentioned that he had to settle an old score with Craven. I had doubts. I had questions. But in the end, it didn't matter. Getting to Craven was at the top of my list. I might not have known who McCoy really was, or what his true intentions were, but there was something about him. I couldn't quite put my finger on it, but something in my heart told me to trust him. Rondell was also inclined to have him with us if it meant getting to Craven sooner. And so, he joined us. It was then the compass twinkled constantly, as if it were aware of being affirmative. McCoy led the way, and we headed into the caves.
get them. 